Hi, this is Timothy Priscilla, and I'm doing a little business math with my Math 1324 class, looking at uh, the present value of an annuity. Uh, here's an example. Suppose we're getting a, a mortgage, a 30-year mortgage for a house. Uh, we're going to borrow $133,100, and that the interest rate is 4.8% fixed for those 30 years. We want to find our monthly payment. Realize that the uh, account balance, the lump sum, occurs at the present. At the beginning of the 30-year time period, the account balance, the mortgage, is $133,100. At the end of that 30-year time period, uh, the account balance would have fallen to $0. So that's what tells us that we're going to have to use the present value of an annuity formula. The lump sum is in the present. And we recall the present value of the annuity formula. Realize P, the present value, that's that $133,000. $133,100. dollars I should say. In. How many payments are they going to have over the 30-year uh, life of this mortgage? They're making monthly payments for 30 years. 12 times 30 is 360. And I, the rate per period, you take the annual rate, that 4.8%, written as a decimal point zero four eight, and divide it by... 12. We're splitting that up over the uh, four-year period. And what's that going to give us? A 0 .004? That terminates pretty nicely. Now, plugging into the... Oh, and by the way, our unknown is the amount of the payment. That's what we're looking for. So, plugging into the present value of an annuity formula, we have $133,100 is equal to R times... 1 minus 1 plus 0 .004 is just a 1 0 .004 to the negative 360 all divided by 0 .004. And now we'll dig out our calculator. I don't do anything real fancy to uh, punch this stuff in. What I do is I simplify the numerator I simplify the numerator on the bracket amount. I then divide it by the denominator. Once I know that value to get R by itself, it's R times that number to undo the multiplication. We'll have to divide. But let's see. So I need a 1 minus 1.004 raised to the negative 360. And that's just the numerator. Let's see if we can see that. I can get that so it shows there and then we have to divide it by 0 .004 and so that bracket amount uh, I'm going to write this down just because I want to make a point about that that bracket amount reduces to 190.5976813 and I'm writing that down because that's significant in the real world, it has a, a, a very significant meaning to it. They're making 360 payments to pay back this annuity. In reality, it only took about 190 and a half of those payments to pay the entire loan balance back. All the remaining payments, which would have amounted to, what, about 170 payments, were nothing more than just interest. That's what the significance about that bracket amount is. Now, it's R times 190 point stuff, so we go 131,000, no, $133,100 divided by our previous answer. Let's, let me see if I can get this clear for you. Uh, equals, it looks to me like their 30-year uh, uh, mortgage payment will be $698.33. This is called the principal and interest payment because if you get a mortgage you're going to also have to have money going into escrow 
homeowners insurance, taxes, what have you. But this is just the money that's being applied to the principal and your interest. And at the very beginning of the mortgage, the vast majority of that payment's going to be going just as the interest payment. A very small portion of that $698.33 will actually be going towards uh, uh, paying down your principal. I guess that's not too bad, 698.33, but that's a pretty good rate, that 4.8%. Anyway, this is Timothy Priscilla, just doing a little business math with his Math 1324 class. Bye-bye.